business. That's a toxic relationship. A shocking scandal is ripping through the celebrity world, and it involves none other than Shirley Strawberry, cheating, deception, bankruptcy. The scandal has it all. You won't believe how one man's illicit actions have turned Shirley's world upside down. Stay tuned for all the juicy details. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to Celeb Live Channel. Today, I'm turning the spotlight on Shirley Strawberry, a woman known for her incredible radio hosting talent, but who's now in the headlines for a different and far less glamorous reason. Let me say this, that wasn't funny. No. According to insiders and family, Shirley is grappling with some serious personal and financial woes, bankruptcy, a cheating husband, and a shattered reputation. It appears that her husband's illicit activities with his mistress have not only brought down the law, but have also drained their bank accounts. Shirley is now reportedly selling her own belongings, including her precious jewelry and her house, just to keep afloat. Insiders close to the family have shared startling revelations about Shirley Strawberry's current state of affairs. According to them, the family is grappling with bankruptcy due to skyrocketing legal costs and mounting bills. This distressing information comes from none other than Strawberry's own daughter, further fueling the veracity of these claims. Sometimes when your friends or people you love are going through it and they start talking, sometimes you, they just want you to listen. They don't want your opinion. The adverse consequences of the scandal have been hard hitting, decimating Shirley's reputation and significantly reducing her income. Previously a regular invitee on various shows, the invitations have ceased and her income has experienced a drastic drop. Unlike her colleague, Steve Harvey, Shirley does not have a side business to fall back on. Her life revolved around her show and with the fallout from this scandal, that source of income has dwindled. She does have a book in the market, but sale alone cannot cover the bills. In a shocking revelation during a court hearing, it came to light that Shirley's husband, Ernest, had been unfaithful. His mistress, Erica King, was not just a homebreaker, but also a partner in his illicit activities. Insiders indicated that Shirley had suspicions of her husband's infidelity and was contemplating divorce. One insider lamented, Shirley knew things were off but had no idea it was this deep. It's been an unbelievable shock. The betrayal took a severe turn as Ernest allegedly decamped with their shared savings, leaving Shirley high and dry. The finances that she believed to be secure were no longer within her reach. One insider said, it's a double whammy for Shirley. He cheated and then left her with nothing. The damaging combination of financial ruin and emotional distress have pushed Shirley into a precarious situation. Her life, once secure and comfortable, is now characterized by uncertainty and turmoil. The situation is exacerbated by her diminished income and absence from her show. Reports are swirling that she's selling off real estate and other valuable assets to meet her financial obligations. It's also known that her daughter, despite her own financial constraints, is offering help in any way she can. The scandal has set off a devastating domino effect on Shirley Strawberry's life. Her reputation has suffered immensely. Her personal life is in shambles due to her husband's betrayal, and the once stable financial situation is now a struggle. Not only are invites to shows and interviews disappearing, but rumors are spreading that she stood by her husband's side, leading to friends and coworkers distancing themselves. Move on. And it's nothing wrong with that because that is life. You have to move on. You know, that's how we learn. We make mistakes, we move on. In short, the aftermath of the scandal has turned Shirley's life upside down. With bankruptcy looming, a divorce in the works, and her reputation tarnished, she is in a fight for survival. Further, the shocking allegations against her husband have cast a pall over her life, leaving her to navigate through these trying times. Those close to the family have spilled the beans. Shirley Strawberry was aware of her husband, Ernest's past brushes with the law. She knew of his previous arrests and criminal charges, but held steadfast in her belief that held steadfast in her belief that he was capable of turning over a new leaf. You have to experience something to uh, know that it's not good for you. You don't, you know, I, I mean, I don't have to jump on the uh, subway train and get hit to know that. Ernest seemed to prove her right. He built a prosperous business empire that included a posh hair salon and a security services company. He and Shirley led a life of luxury, seemingly untouched by any lingering doubts about Ernest's past or current deeds. Shirley, it appears, wanted to believe in the fairy tale, the story of a reformed man and a strong, happy family. And, uh, you know, some people say deservedly so because he cheated, he had a beautiful family and he cheated and, and lost his family. However, this narrative crumbled spectacularly when Ernest was apprehended for fraud. This arrest revealed his involvement with Erica King in a swindle worth millions. They duped individuals with claims of business acumen and promises of personal growth only to vanish with their money when it was time to deliver. Ernest's unmasking was triggered by an investigation into rental fraud. He and Erica had rented a house near Shirley's residence, but their failure to make rent payments for four consecutive months raised the landlord's hackles. A fraud report was filed against the pair, leading the authorities to uncover their elaborate charade. Police say their investigation first started at this home on Pine Grove Road months ago. Investigators say after Williams and King hadn't paid rent for a while, 
Detectives started looking into their financial transaction. The rent a house was not just a financial liability, but also a hideaway for Ernest's clandestine affair with Erica. This made her not just an accomplice in his fraudulent schemes, but also his secret lover, adding an audacious layer to Ernest's deception. As the police dug into Ernest and Erica's rental scam, they discovered discrepancies in their finances that sparked further investigation. A meticulous examination uncovered a larger swindle. Ernest and Erica had fleeced over a dozen individuals out of an estimated $1 million. A million dollar fraud scheme and a lot of victims. This all happened through an alleged growth and coaching business, part of it run on social media. Upon inspecting the rented property, the police unearthed additional damning evidence against Ernest. Uh, before the 13th, there's going to be about 15 plus more warrants coming his direction, serious felonies in there. Alongside fraud, charges of possession of unregistered firearms, illicit substances, and photographs involving minors were added to his rap sheet. With Ernest's previous convictions, he now faces the grim prospect of a 25 years to life sentence. I would also request that there be an ankle monitor placed on Mr. Williams, as well as that have no internet access at all and no contact with any minors or animals. Once the allegations against Ernesto broke and a public scandal ensued, the spotlight turned onto Shirley. Whispers began to circulate that she was backing her husband, even going as far as attempting to bail him out. We consider this person to be a flight risk. We have jail calls where he's talking about going to see his girlfriend in Florida. A series of intercepted phone calls added fuel to the fire, with Ernesto seemingly requesting refuge in the mansion of Shirley's boss, Steve Harvey, and expressing a desire to flee to Florida. We have a call where he was talking with his wife about going to stay in her boss's house. I'm going to leave out all the names here, as Mr. Lewis did as well. Adding to the intrigue, Shirley made a move to strike Ernest's name off the deed of her California residence. Her reasons for doing so remained enigmatic, leaving room for conjecture about whether it stemmed from a mistrust of Ernest or her being privy to his deeds. Nevertheless, her decision to shield the property from potential foreclosure turned out to be a sound one. Ernest found himself in the legal crosshairs, slapped with charges of conspiracy to commit a felony, a crime that could lead to the seizure of his property. Viewed from Shirley's perspective, the scenario painted a completely different picture, a woman blindsided by the double betrayal of a man she loved. From what insiders, police sources privy to her interactions with the detective, revealed Shirley was flabbergasted by the revelations about Ernesto's criminal activities. She maintained, according to those sources, that she had no prior knowledge of his deeds. He's considered dangerous. Ernest, it seems, had woven a web of deception around Shirley, portraying himself as a man who had left his shady past behind to run an above-board business. He introduced Erica to Shirley as a friend and potential business collaborator without clarifying the exact nature of their joint venture. The sudden exposure of Ernest's criminal history and his ties to Erica confronted Shirley with a harsh reality that she had to grapple with. While all this drama was unfolding, fans around the globe were voicing their opinions. Not everyone criticized her. Everyone had a thought or two on the matter, and the empathy for Shirley was almost palpable. One such comment came from a sympathetic user who couldn't help but feel for Shirley. I feel bad for Shirley. She seems like a sweet lady, they wrote. This comment resonated with many painting a picture of Shirley as a gentle and kind-hearted woman caught up in an unfortunate situation not of her making. Another user wrote, Let us all keep Shirley lifted in prayer that God keeps her covered. I met her a couple of years ago while working, and she's the sweetest woman. She doesn't deserve this. Let us all hold space for her. This particular comment demonstrated the strong emotional connection some fans had with Shirley, offering up prayers for her strength and comfort. The empathy was hard to miss. People from all walks of life, some who had met Shirley and some who knew her only from her public persona, expressed their support. The common thread was a sense of injustice. That Shirley, by all accounts, a warm and genuine person, didn't deserve the predicament she found herself in. Thus, in the whirlwind of scandal, amid the harsh accusations and shady revelations, a corner of the internet became a sanctuary of sympathy and support, a testament to the lasting impression Shirley had made on her fans. Well, folks, as I've discovered today, even the brightest stars can be obscured by a storm. Shirley Strawberry, once the queen of radio waves, is now fighting to regain control of her life, both financially and emotionally. Her husband's infidelity and his involvement in a massive criminal scheme have left Shirley picking up the pieces. This tale of love, deceit, and financial ruin is a bitter reminder that fame and fortune can sometimes come with a high price. But I want to hear from you. How do you feel about this shocking turn of events in Shirley's life? Do you think she will manage to come out of this stronger? Is there a light at the end of this tunnel for her? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I value your input and look forward to an engaging discussion. Thank you all for tuning in and joining me on this wild ride through the fascinating world of celebrity rumors. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and smash that like button and smash that like button. Don't forget to turn on notifications so you never miss out on the latest updates. Until next time, stay curious, stay entertained, and keep those comments coming. Peace out.